Oh hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are working on a really, really exciting project here in the garage. You can probably see some of it behind me. Because of all the lockdowns and because of coronavirus, coronavirus! we have made the decision to cancel our gym memberships, get rid of all of that, and build a garage gym. Now, in order to make room for all of the new gym equipment, we had to get the garage completely reorganized. So we added a lot of ceiling storage and wall storage and tried to make the best use of the space we could. We have a lot of work to do. We got a lot of stuff to move around and uh, let's get to it. And while we're doing this, I'll kind of explain the rack that I chose and why I chose the equipment that I did for our garage gym set. One of the things about setting up a garage gym that people don't often think about is the amount of prep work it takes to actually get your equipment installed properly. It means a lot of marking, measuring, cleaning, remeasuring, and drilling giant holes in your wall to make sure that your equipment's going to withstand your workouts. Gym, we decided to go with the PRX Performance Profile Rack with the multi-grip pull-up bar. Installation of this rack was actually pretty simple. Although it says in the instructions that this should be a two-man job, it really wasn't that difficult doing it all by myself. The only thing you have to make sure of is for the rack to function properly, you need to make sure that everything lines up and is plumb, straight, and level. we chose the PRX Performance Profile Rack over the Rogue Folding Rack is the way it actually attaches and folds to the wall. Instead of having to take two pieces out of the middle and fold the rack in on itself, the PRX Rack uses 100 pound gas shocks to fold straight up and down in one single piece onto your wall. This means that you can deploy the rack much faster and put it away quicker, keeping your garage gym clean, tidy, and compact. Welcome back to the Home Gym Build Out. Now, since the last time I updated you guys and we installed this rack, the PRX collapsible folding rack that we put in in the last part of the video, I have been waiting for a bunch of stuff to actually be able to use it. So we got a little gym shipment and let me show you what we got. So first thing we got was a Titan bar. So we've got a new barbell that's from Titan Fitness. We also got some 25s from Titan, as well as some fives, all standard iron plates. And we also picked up this Titan weight rack. So I should be able to store just about anything and everything on here that I could need in the home gym. So I've got my belt, I've got some the slingshot, some accessories. Obviously this is a functioning garage. I've got a bunch of junk in it, but what I'm really excited to show you guys is what I've been waiting on for probably almost a month now, over a month now. And they have been hard to find. They feel like they're worth more than gold. And that is 45 pound plates. Dun, 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 dun. So my order finally came in from Titan. In here I have eight 45 pound plates, which should give me a really good start. It's gonna give me in total about 505 pounds to work with. Um, so should be plenty for most exercises. So let's get these things unboxed and get them on the weight rack. All right, so these are the 45 pound cast iron weight plates from Titan. Um, I don't ex know exactly where these are made, but uh, these are really just your run of the mill kind of cheap cast iron plate. So they have this gray coating on them and you can tell like the finish on them is okay. So you can see even when they were cast, you know, there's some air bubbles in here. So these are definitely not 
the highest quality plates in the world, but for what we could find for the price, you really can't beat it because it's pretty much the same as anything you're gonna get from like standard barbell or like Rogue Fitness or anything like that in terms of quality, in terms of accuracy on weight. Now these are not a calibrated plate, which means they're probably anywhere between like 44 and a half and like 47 pounds. So I'm not gonna take the time to actually weigh them all right now and mark them up. It honestly doesn't really matter that much for the type of training I'm doing right now. All that really matters is we got some weight, baby. everything completely unloaded and stacked away so before I hit this workout one of the questions that I see a lot from people is you know isn't it cheaper to just have a gym membership than it is to build a home gym and the answer is absolutely so this entire setup with the slam balls the weights the squat rack and, and to be honest it's a pretty modest setup in total is probably you know three to four maybe even approaching five thousand dollars total now at ten dollars a month i could join any big box gym and probably save a significant amount of money and be there for years with all the equipment i could ever want but there's a key difference with having a home gym and i didn't really know it until i became a dad Building this home gym out was not just about cost savings. And honestly, it's not about cost savings because I'm not saving any more. In fact, I'm probably spending a lot more money than I would just on a regular gym membership. But with that being said, what it does save me is time. I can come out here in my own gym. I don't have to wait on a rack. I can get my workout in. I can do whatever I want for 30 minutes, 40 minutes an hour, whatever amount of time I have, I can work out and I can train. And then I can go right back inside and I can go back to being with my wife and my son. And to me, that is worth any expense. The time that I get back by having a gym in my house instead of having to drive to the nearest gym, which is about 20 minutes away, work out for an hour and then drive 20 minutes home, I get that extra time with them every time I wanna go and train. And if I only have a half an hour, I can do that. I don't have to worry about the drive or commuting to and from the gym being a factor in how much time I'm gonna have to train. So if you're considering a home gym and you're worried about the expense, don't get me wrong, it is a very expensive investment, but time is something that we're never gonna get more of. So if you have an opportunity to create more efficiency, to create more time, and to create a better life, I encourage you to do it. So with that being said, I'm gonna go get my workout in. And if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'm happy to answer anything about the equipment that we've got in here or anything that you guys uh, you know, are considering buying yourself. If I've looked at it, I'm happy to give you a quick review. With all that being said, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one.